Good morning. morning. Once again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in for 747. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just praise you. Lord, we thank you for your grace, your mercy we ask, Lord. Lord, that we would be able to boldly come to the throne, Lord. So we boldly come to your throne of grace. And we submit ourselves to you. And we ask, yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, that as we present our, ourselves as living sacrifices, Heavenly Father, upon your altar, Lord, take our hearts and our minds, Heavenly Father, and <clears throat> Lord, renew our minds and, and, and Lord, transform us, Heavenly Father, Lord, that we would not be conformed to the world, Lord, that we would seek you and pursue after you, Lord, as a people, Heavenly Father, that we would advance the kingdom, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, you know, we've been talking about beginning again. We've been talking about that you can begin again. Amen. But the problem is, is that sometimes we're so rearward focused. Yeah. You know, oftentimes, you know, um, we, 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 we are always focused on the next move, the next this, the next that. And God is calling us, if you will, to shift that dynamic. Yeah. For example, you get in your car and you have this big, wide uh, front windshield and you have a small rear view mirror. But if you focus all of your attention or more of your attention in that right. rearview mirror, something bad is going to happen because you're not focusing in on where you're going. That's right. Go with me to Philippians, the third chapter, 12th verse. It says, <clears throat> not as though I have already obtained, neither were already perfect, but, if I, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count my not, myself not to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me. I press. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So first of all, you got to begin to forget those things uh, that are behind you. Amen. Take your focus off of those things that are in the rear, Come on. and begin to look. And he said, he said, he, he said, I, I I apprehend that which has already apprehended me. In other words, Jesus, the love of the Come Lord, on. has already apprehended and taken hold. Yes. But will you apprehend it back? Will you will you hold on to the Lord back? Will you yield yourself to yes. the Lord? And then he said, I press. Meaning you're exerting effort, not to stay where you are, not to stay in what you are, but I'm forgetting. You know, guess what? We got to begin again. We got to get up. And you know what? Beginning again is, is, is a daily thing. Yes, it is. Every day. Beginning again is a choice. Um, just like serving the Lord with your whole heart is a choice. And so... When we say we're going to begin again, that means that you're going to put in some effort and you're going to put in some work and you're going to put in some time in trying to um, make, make a better relationship, a better walk uh, with God and, and being obedient to his word. Uh, we have to press toward that because the enemy is fighting us every day on some on some hand about something. And you have to press through that. You have to know that the word of God says, greater is he that is within you than he that is within the world. And so you have to stand on that word as we press through each and every day. Even sometimes it's just the little things you have to press through with. But you have to uh, continue and be made up in your mind. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to press through this. I'm going to do this. Why? Because God has already said in his word what is required of us. The word of God is not going to change. So we must stay focused. Amen. You got to look, look through that front mirror, not always in the rear view mirror, because if you're looking in the rear, rear view mirror and you're driving forward, you're probably going to run into something, you know, if you don't look up in time. So, and that's what the enemy wants. He wants you to be out of focus and not look up in time so that there's an accident in your life. God doesn't want that. We've got to stay focused on the word of God to prevent the accidents from happening in our life. You know, God can take you around something and over something and, and through something. But you, we want to go through because God is carrying us through, not because the enemy caused there to be an accident. Amen. Amen. And you know what? 
you might not be able to say, 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 say you were in school or something like that. You might not be able to say, oh, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the year. But guess what? We can restart again so Come that on. there can be a new ending. That's right. Right? You know, you you know, so so rather than staying on the current projection that you're on, on look, let's forward. elevate it. Let's move <laughs> forward in the Lord that the Amen. Lord would be glorified. You know, us being saved is not about us getting away with stuff, but us getting away from some stuff, stuff some, some stuff. You know what I mean? And um, you know, none of us are perfect, but guess what? If we just acknowledge where we are, if Amen. we acknowledge who He is, if we yield ourselves to the Great I Am. We let the king have his way. And today, you know what? Let's be an example so that others can see um, who we, he is in Amen. us. And so that others, you know, because sometimes people think, you know, nobody can see that I've messed up or nobody can, you know, we don't want to acknowledge that your stuff is out there, right? Mm -hmm. And And that other people have seen it. But guess what? You know what? It's more powerful that when they have seen that you messed up, that you just yield yourself to the Amen. king, that you get yourself right with the Lord, and that they see that there is a transformation, a Take difference place. taking on. place in your life. And that and that no matter what, no matter who it connects me with or who it separates me from, I'm going with Jesus all, all the, the way. way. Amen. You know, and... and uh, 1 John 1 and 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, right there, he's God is just saying, this is all I need you to do. Uh, come on, be real with yourself, be true with yourself. Confess, uh, because he already knows what's going on. And it says that he would be faithful uh, to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteous. That means that, and cleansing is a process that God takes us through. You know what I mean? We're all still going through that process, but we have to be willing, amen? And we have to be willing to recognize where we are, what's going on in our life, and really trust God and give it to God. And like he says, those things that are behind us, if you've given your life to Christ and those things are behind you, they are behind you. You know, don't, don't keep them uh, in front of you. Uh, and in, in Philippians 3 and 13, where it says, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, I am reaching forth to those things which are before. And that's where God wants us to stay. He wants us to be reaching forward, not trying to hold on to what was old or what was behind you, but reaching forth. That doesn't mean that you forgot everything that's back there because you still remember it so that it can be a lesson to you that you don't want to go back there. Don't hold on to that, but press forward and move forward in the things that God has for us. Amen. Well, we'll see you next time for 7 for 7. Be blessed.